What year did you graduate from the CSU Political Science Department? And was it a bachelor's, bachelor's, bachelor's yeah. PhD? I received my bachelor's degree from Colorado State University Political Science Department in 1997. Why did you decide to get a degree in political science? Yeah, I was interested in history, I was interested in government, interested in public policy, and it was just a great way to kind of mix them all together, whether it was uh, foreign policy, whether it was local domestic policy, I thought it was a great way to kind of study history while also uh, it scratching the, the political itch. Why does political science matter? Yeah. Political science matters because we have to understand our process. We have to understand the history behind that process. We have to uh, try to do what we can to understand uh, the, the way the American people think as it relates to our institutions and how our decisions are being made and the public policy derived from uh, the people through the filter of government and what results we have after that. What is your current job and what makes you passionate about your work? Uh, I'm a United States Senator and I come into the office each and every day knowing that we have to do a better job for the American people so that they know they have greater opportunities ahead of them and not just behind them. What political science related issue do you care the most about? You know, again, I think it's understanding the American people and the results that we achieve through these great institutions. It's preserving these institutions that have been hard fought for over 200 years. Uh, those things that we study, uh, comparative politics, those things that we study and uh, our, our introduction to pol political science, uh, they all matter in the work that we do in these incredible uh, democratic institutions today. What person or group of people have been the most influential in your career so far? I think my family obviously has, I've had, had very strong uh, relationships with, with women in my life, whether it's my wife, whether it's my mother, whether it's my grandparent, my grandmother. Uh, grandmothers uh, had a great uh, fortunate experience of living in a small town where uh, everybody around me was uh, very much a part of all the activities that I pursued and were very supportive of that. If you could have dinner with anyone in your field, who would yeah. it be and why? Yeah, this is kind of a out of the field sort of uh, question because it's kind of impossible to have dinner with this person right now, but Winston Churchill, uh, to, to try to understand so many of the challenges we face today in the Middle East. Uh, he was there in the, the days after World War I, uh, Gertrude Bell, others who really helped draw the script, so to speak, for some of the challenges that we face today. I would love to uh, understand some of the decisions that they made. Uh, what advice would you give to someone who wants to pursue a degree in political science? that you can do anything with this degree. This is very much a, an open canvas in terms of this degree, whether it's law school that you want to pursue, whether it's uh, education, whether it's research, or whether it's public service. I think this gives you a great background and understanding how the rule of law uh, and why it matters is so important to this country, and of course, how you can take those institutions, that knowledge of our institutions, our democratic processes, and put it to work uh, in terms of good for the American people. If you could spend a year in any country studying their politics, what country would it be? It, it, it would be fascinating to spend a year in Myanmar, in Burma. Uh, that country has gone from a, a, a coup, a junta uh, leadership to a civilian leadership with significant challenges. Uh, challenges that may not lead to a peaceful transition of power uh, in the next couple of years. And of course, the ethnic cleansing that has been taking place in that country is a, a, a global tragedy and more must be done to stop it. And so to be able to spend time there to understand what can be done to stop the, uh, the atrocities, uh, to bring peace and a civilian government stability, uh, would be pretty remarkable. And last one, what is or what was your favorite thing about CSU? Uh, I, I love the camaraderie. Uh, I love the academic setting. Uh, Fort Collins is an amazing town. And of course, uh, go Rams, you can't go wrong uh, watching a game at the new stadium uh, and enjoying the, the, the legacy that my family has had, all who have attended Colorado State University. The political science department obviously had a great impact on me and I want to thank Dr. Strayer uh, and uh, the impact that he had on me and generations of leaders in Colorado through the intern, the intern program at the, the Capitol. It was a remarkable experience. Uh, many of the lessons I learned then still apply today and I've also uh, grown quite fond of a number of other political science professors at Colorado State University and uh, I'll never forget that people like uh, Dr. Crabtree were even professors of my dad at CSU. So it's been a great legacy at CSU.